back to my channel <laughs> so if you like videos like this make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you share my videos <laughs> so somebody requested for me to do one of you guys actually a subscriber so requested me to do a get to know me tag so i was like why not you know what i'm saying like y'all seem to like my personality and stuff like that and i just want to let y'all know that makes me happy so i'm gonna do the get to know me tag and i felt like it was it was good because like you know i have a little following so i feel like you guys don't really know me as well so uh first of all my name is shannon so <laughs> shannon s-a-w stands for shannon alexis wilson that is my full name so it's just a, it's just the life of salt you know what i'm saying that's where i got my name from um i like salt i feel like it's a it's a cool like initials to have shout out to my mama <laughs> but anyway let's get right on to it <laughs> the tag <laughs> what is your zodiac sign so my zodiac sign is boop boop sagittarius the best in the land <laughs> he waited to the end he waited to the end for the best you get what i'm saying <laughs> my birthday is december 15 1991 i am 27 oh god 30 is coming on the way <laughs> but yes i I'm a true Sagittarius in every word, y'all. I am very loyal. I am very loyal to a fault. You get what I'm saying? And I am very spontaneous. I love going on trips. I love. I ain't. I ain't bungee jumping though. I ain't that spontaneous. But um, I love to do like things on a whim and stuff like that. I have. I'm very funny, y'all. I like. Like I'm like the funniest person you probably ever meet. You know what I'm saying? I am just such a Sagittarius. Next question is where did you grow grow up? <laughs> Memphis 10 all day. You know what I'm saying? And I know when. <laughs> and that's where I get my accent from, y'all. I am from Tennessee, Memphis to be exact. You get what I'm saying? I put on for my city. Hey, hey. <laughs> And no, I do not know Yo Gotti. Like, I don't know why people be first thing I say, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, they be like, oh you know Yo Gotti? No, I don't know that man. <laughs> um, who is your best friend? So, I have several best friends. And let me tell you why. Before y'all be uh, in the comments. Well, not, you know, you know, my comments are very, very nice. Let me not say that. But every once in a while, I get some stupid shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Another thing about me, I am a cusser. That's why I don't come out here cussing and stuff like that. I, I, I am a cusser. Um, that's why you'll see in my videos, I try not to cuss because I don't want to give out, you know what I'm saying? Some people are offended, you know what I'm saying? I do care a little bit. I have several best friends, you guys. Um, their names are, my first best friend is Ashley Hughes. My second best friend is Sharnice Yancey. Those two I met here, uh, in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, actually, Sharnice is my, she's been my longest friend, um, since the third grade. Third is Jasmine Ball. <laughs> JV and I met her when I was in college uh undergrad I went to UAB if you didn't know my fourth best friend is hello Cassiana Guzman <laughs> and I met her in medical school so those are my best friends you guys I love them to death like we'll literally give them a kidney like dead ass cousins and like my little sisters they don't count but shout out to y'all too i love y'all so the next question is how tall am i i am five six you guys people say that i'm like jb she says that i'm not five six but i am like you know what i'm saying i'm five six <laughs> it says dogs or cats definitely dogs like i'm sorry if you're a cat lover i'm sorry but those cats are demonic they are demonic they are sneaky and i don't i i look I don't play with no cat. I don't play with no cat. Especially no black cat. I like I'm not superstitious or nothing like that. But them damn things is some they demonic. <laughs> um, I actually have a dog. Well, actually, he's my mom's dog, but he's like my little brother. His name is Pepsi. And I'll put a picture right here. You'll actually see him in my vlog. <laughs> funniest moment throughout high school. What was the funniest moment throughout? Y'all, like, I was about a class clown. So like I had a lot of a lot of funny moments you know what i'm saying so okay this is the funniest moment so in high school y'all i was in color guard but like not the military one not the one where you have to like you know what i'm saying being rotc not that like in the band so the flag girl my best friend ashley yes <laughs> we're in color guard together right why they put us in color guard? why we why we chose to do color guard together 
I have no earthly idea because we are so like not serious about anything. We would um perform on the field like during halftime during our football games, right? Yeah, it was October and we had this new like we had to do a whole new routine like in a week. Like we had to learn it like in a week. Like me and Ashley was very good at it and everybody else was very good at it. But like for us to learn a routine in a week with them flags, I just think it was a lot. And clearly it was a lot because when we got on that field, y'all, like, first of all, we never, like, it was taboo to drop your flag. Like, it was so embarrassing. And, like, all your friends, your homegirls, and your homeboys out there, they knew we was on the team. They looking. So, we get out there, y'all. <laughs> Mind you, we have, like, set places that were supposed to be on the field and stuff like that. And, y'all, when I say that show was so bad, like, I tripped and fell. Ashley was, like, all over me. Like, y'all, I dropped my flag so many times, I can't even, like, we was laughing throughout the whole performance. Mind you, it's, like, parents and stuff out there. It's, like, kids. They're, like, what are y'all doing? Like, y'all look a mess. Y'all, it was so funny. Like, I don't care. Like, that was probably the funniest moment of high school. Like, that was a mess. I don't know if they got that on camera or not, but I have to get that video because that girl... Y'all, it was a mess. I wish y'all could have been there. But that's my funniest moment from high school. So it says, what year were you born? Uh, I'm a 90s baby. 91. Hey, uh, I was supposed to be born in 92. But baby, 91 it is. December 15th. <laughs> so the next question is, are you in or have you gone to college? So I am a college graduate. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology and uh, from University of Alabama at Birmingham. <laughs> Go Blazers <laughs> till I die. Really, I am in medical medical school. So, um, yes, that's that's um all about school. What is your favorite drink? My favorite drink is a McDonald's Sprite because it's coming like jumper cables in the Sprite. And that's period. It's so good, so crisp. And when I say crisp, I mean that, baby. <laughs> it is so good. What is your spirit animal and why? I think that my spirit animal... Well, it's really not an animal. Okay, I'll just tell y'all both. I think that my spirit animal is... I don't really have a spirit animal, but if I had to choose... I would probably choose a butterfly and the reason why I choose a butterfly is because not because it you know it met all the metamorphosis and stuff like that but that is part of it I just feel like they're so beautiful so light but they're so vibrant you know what I'm saying like they can escape anything <laughs> and like the initial shock of a butterfly like if a butterfly is all up on you you'd be like oh you know what I'm saying <laughs> and then but when you but when you um when you calm down and see what it actually is, you're like, wow. Yeah, I feel like, you know, that's how people, you know, be looking at me or whatever. <laughs> so, but I really, y'all, the thing that I relate to the most is the moon. Like, I feel like I am the moon. Like, we're such in synchrony. Like, I love the moon, y'all. Like, I don't know what it is, but I love the moon. It's everything to me. Like, it's just a constant reminder of how, like, God is just so good and he just makes things that like the moon like come on it's like so beautiful you know what I'm saying let me not even get preachy you know what I'm saying <laughs> so the next question is you're wearing perfume what is the scent Dolce & Gabbana Fendi & Madonna no nah, but uh Dolce & Gabbana light blue I've ripped <laughs> yeah that's my favorite scent this smells so good but you know for a small fee you know what I'm saying? You can smell like me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, tea or coffee? I've ripped tea. Like, green tea, hello? Uh, actually, green tea from Starbucks. Starbucks, me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, green iced tea. Iced. Iced. What are, you, what are your life goals? So, of course, y'all probably already know. I want to be a psychiatrist. I actually want to be a forensic psychiatrist. Yes. I think it's so cool. Like, I love forensics, but I also love psychiatry, too. So, I want to be an MD, you guys. So, that is my life goal. I also want to write a book. I also want to, like, do, like, research. Research and things that, in topics and mental illnesses that aren't talked about as much. I want to do research in that and, like, provide a cure for those things. Yes, I would, like, I really want to do that. 
I also want to be like a motivational speaker for people like me, you know what I'm saying? Just the regular, regular girl. Go to different colleges and speak to them and stuff like that. Yes, it's a lot that I want to do, y'all. <laughs> so those are some of my life goals. The next question is, what sports do you have you played or play? I played basketball when I was in the 8th grade, I think. I was in the 7th grade, 7 or 6th. I was in middle school. Yeah, that's it. Like, when I was growing up, I played piano. So, yeah, and I can't play a lick of it now. Like, I wish I never would have told my mom that I didn't want to. Like, I begged my mom. I was like, Mom, I don't want to do it no more. Uh, please take me out of it. Because, like, I was, I was in, I think I was in it from when I was, like, maybe five or six. I want to say maybe seven or eight or something like that until I was, like, 15. And now I'm 27 and I cannot, I can't play piano anymore. It's kind of like a drag. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, my mood is going down because I'm kind of sad. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really cool to be able to play piano, I think. But, um, the next question is, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie off rip. I actually have two, you guys. So, Poetic Justice and Menace to Society. Those are my favorite movies. Like, now... Which one will I choose over the other one? Minister Society, I rip because Kane is just. Mm. Shout out to Jada, but Kane. And it's just so sad. You know what I'm saying? He was just starting to get. Look, if you haven't seen that, that is a black cult favorite. It's a classic. You know what I'm saying? Next question is Who is your favorite YouTubers? So, I ha actually have a lot of favorite YouTubers, y'all. Um, I love Leah J. I've rip. Uh, who else? Kyra Sean here. Weeds to Wasteland. Aya All Day. Uh, who else? Um, y'all, off the top of my head, Shannon Wilson. South Life is the best life. You get what I'm saying? Um, who else? I watch a lot of YouTube, so I don't really, I have, those are like some of my favorites, but I actually have more. I just can't remember off the top of my dome. Do you speak any languages and how well? Um, I speak English. <laughs> my best friend Cassiano, the, she's supposed to be teaching me Spanish right now. Like, the only word that I know is brajo. <laughs> and, come on, stop. You know, I know a couple words, you know. Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. <laughs> Y'all yeah, heard how I said siete. But, um, yeah, that's all I know is brajo. And, um, I just know bad words, y'all. So, Y'all get on to Cassiana because she the reason why I don't know. I'm not bilingual yet. Your idea of a dr of your dream date date. Yeah, I know you getting it, but is you spending it? Give up, but a nigga bad if he ain't giving it. Hey, bad it, bad at it too. <laughs> no, no, no. My dream date is I like spontaneous. I like different things and stuff like that. Like spontaneous things. That's that's my idea of a update. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Getting on a plane. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. I'm a simple girl, y'all. Like I don't require much. Honestly, like time is like the most important thing to me when it comes to like my relationships with people. Like I value time because you cannot get that back. And when people give you that time, that means that they truly love you. That's how I feel. So the next question is, how long was your longest relationship? So, um, my longest relationship was about six years. Yeah, six years. Trash! Next. Um, um, how would you describe your fashion sense? So, I would describe my fashion sense as, like, real sporty, casual. Like, I love wearing, like, uh, biker shorts and tights and stuff. I like to be comfortable. You get what I'm saying? But I can, you know, when I'm getting out, I like to be jazzy too. You see the face, you see it. What is your go-to hairstyle? My go-to hairstyle is off rip sleek bun. That is my like that is my go-to hairstyle. I will wear it every day of the week if I can. Like I love a bun. <laughs> and it's so funny because my face is so fat, but like I love a bun. Like, period. How many siblings do you have? I have one sibling. I have a little brother. I love him to death. Hey, little brother. <laughs> I call him my little boo-boo, but he's taller than me. You know what I'm saying? He's just getting so much older, and I can't, like, you know. Uh, I'm getting emotional. Shout out to Gendarius. That's my brother. <laughs> what is your go-to fast food order? 
my go-to fast food order is y'all i love chick-fil-a it just really depends on like my mood so but go-to number five the grilled chicken the char grill off real uh barbecue sauce me lemonade me period <laughs> i love me some chick-fil-a anybody that know me know that crack filet is my jam who's pc or mac pc <laughs> Apple products off real. <laughs> and we ain't even gonna discuss that. We ain't even gonna discuss that no more. What is your most memorable vacation memory? Y'all, this is this is funny. Y'all, okay, so my most memorable vacation memory is when my cus my cousin, I actually call her my sister, um, Jennifer. Everybody know Big Jen. If you know Big Jen, comment below. My sister acted a plum fool when we was in Florida, y'all. Like if I had the if I had the footage, I'm gonna insert it. Oh my god, if I cause I think I have a video of that, y'all. Y'all, she went in on these people at the uh phone place. You know the phone pl people that um that that like fix your screen on your phone, right? So we in the joint. Yeah, I'm getting real Memphis, but we in the place, right? And like we got our phones fixed. I actually got my phone fixed and my little cousin got her phone fixed, right? So we, you know, we leave or what have you, and then and then like when we get like, you know, it was like not even a day, and my little cousin her her phone was still broke. Like her whole screen came back off, right? So my cousin was like, we just gonna go back up there. And um actually my screen had like popped out too, but we get to that um um, it just like popped out, right? So she, my my cousin was like, um, well, we'll just, you know, we'll just go back up there and um, see if I can fix it. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So when we get up there, the man was like real rude. Like he was like real rude. I don't know if he thought we was like from there or what have you. Cause like where we went was like the suburbs almost. It was really nice. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So like I guess he was like trying to say, you know, like we didn't come up there and stuff. I don't know what the issue was because i can't remember y'all i was like this was in 2014 but the issue was he talking about some he not gonna you know fix the uh, fix the phone without payment we like huh sir we just, we've already paid you you get what i'm saying like we're not gonna pay you again for something that you didn't do in the first place you know what i'm saying y'all when i say my cousin act a fool up in that place she act a fool y'all she <laughs> She done told the people she was going to tear up the store and everything. Like, they was, they was talking about some, uh, they was going to call the police. Uh, first of all, we're from Memphis, so, like, you know, was, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can get, we can get with, you know, we don't care about none of it getting out of hand. That's my family motto. Like, we always been about that, and we really liked it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, he was, like, the cashier or something like that. He was like, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to because, like, my uncles and, like, my, I mean, yeah, my uncles and her husband and, like, all my cousins, like, we are, me and, me and my cousin are only, the only girls on, on, um, my mama's side of the family. Everybody else is boys. So, they come in, so, like, I guess, you know, everybody, you know, so scared of black people. But, um, <laughs> the cousin them came in and stuff like that, my uncles and stuff, they came in. And, you know, like, they, like, well, they didn't come in, like, you know, like, aggressive or anything. They was just like, what's taking so long, you know? Because we was actually finna get ready to head back to Memphis. So, they like, what's, you know, what's taking so long? You know, what's the, what's tea? So, um, he was like, I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna call the police. You know, so my cousin, you know, she was like, call him. I ain't scared of no police. <laughs> yeah, it was like a whole thing. But guess what, though? Guess what, though? I bet you we got that phone fixed. Then, um... <laughs> Yeah, the funniest thing that she said during the whole argument when she was going back and forth with that man, she was like, okay, so eventually the, the manager came out there and he handled everything so professionally and so smoothly. And the other man was trying to like talk to my cousin was like, yeah, that's what I was trying to tell her. She said, you, I need you to go that away. <laughs> Better Business Bureau and everything, y'all. It was so hilarious. If I got a clip, I'm gonna insert it right now. Okay, yeah, it's on to the top. It's gonna be 117.15. You better be looking, my auntie, professional life. Oh, Let's take this back. 120. Yeah, it's 120. You're fine. 
Like the two of my brother business come fight that he sell a popcorn and everything. We might see why I take this whole I got to see y'all come up with We done with the tag, yeah. Hey, we done with the tag. So, and thank you guys so much for watching and getting to know your girl. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one. All right, bye. Yeah.